Uh, is that um awesome? <laughs> very, very happy new year. Happy new days. Actually, time of the year where everybody always talk about that wanting to run. <laughs> Put a lot of miles in there, I always say. I always hear that. Oh, I want to run. get healthy this year. I hear so many things, but it's okay. Yeah, so today I'm just, I'm here again. <laughs> In this beautiful land, just by me. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so look at all this land. Just embracing everything that comes along with it. I've been hearing a lot of things about, oh, I want to get it right this year. Actually, I've started this year, which is, um, I think uh, from the, from New Year's, I've just been running like 20 or 21 miles. That's what I've actually been doing for now. You know, just 20, 21 miles every day. <laughs> you know, weather permit that, of course. So when the weather's a little shaky, gets real cold, and Mother Nature said, no, you can't go outside. It's kind of, yeah, but other than that, for now, just 21 miles every day. <laughs> just to kind of, you know, I'll bring that into the, when you start to get warm up. Uh, you know, uh, the, like around that springtime, yeah, I'll uplift it a bit. But for now, that winter time is cold, so 21 miles just kind of ease and once in a while I'll put a 26 into it but other than that I'm just out here this morning I, uh, I'm in a standstill mood just kind of analyzing and hmm, looking forward to a beautiful beautiful year of course the sky is blue I like it <laughs> that way and it's just me out here so that's what i've been doing a lot of just spending a lot of time in a seclusive area just like this just when it's time especially when it's time for me to do this so i just gotta slow down you know take a couple of walks i walk about half a mile out of the run and continue running so this morning my emotions I don't even know but one thing I could say is the more yoga I do the more breathing that I do it, it does bring a certain discipline into one's life the one thing that's really actually look at my left right here the one thing that's actually uh, amazing to me these days is the whole when you want it to start sitting on the floor because that's the most hardest part sitting on the floor to sit still then there's the yoga, the push-ups. So the last two days I've slacked up a little bit, so I gotta, so I, I kind of ease off my push-up yesterday and today. I did 300 today, 200 yesterday. So go back to 500 again tomorrow. So with the hopes of going for them, you know, six, seven hundred. So, but what it does, it does, it helps your lower back and it in, aligns you properly and especially when you do the yoga which is the way it is designed and that is to do the push-ups because when you actually look at the yoga mat it is designed with a push-up in mind so in my opinion i think yoga is a form of developing your own strength your inner body on the floor doing the push-up and the yoga and the stretch then eventually to be able to 
do a lotus pose or stand still. So I can really feel um, the lubrication in my back already. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And uh, for me, it was desperation, like I've been saying all year, that got me into it. Because after I got that little fender fender with the car, I really needed to heal my body. So in my head, my head is telling me, look, I know you can't walk right now, but you've run 100 miles before. So if you've run 100, if you could train your body to run 100 miles, so you could actually train your body to heal itself. So and that's what I've done. And I always say this, all that is possible just because... When I saw my son being born, his mother amazes me. <laughs> yeah, the strength that a woman has to actually put out a baby has actually changed the way I look at endurance running. Because I'm like to myself, if a woman can actually push out a baby, my body can actually do a lot of things. So it helps mentally, spiritually. So everything comes into place. It's all about that balance too. And there's also a lot of reading that goes into it. Because uh, one thing that most runners try and don't, don't try and implement is the time to sit and read a couple of pages of a book. Because you'd be really surprised how that functioning of the brain really helps with keeping it balanced. Then I have the whole habit every morning where I actually write to myself with both my left hands and my right hand. So uh, just little, little habits and breathing in and out of the nose. So I slack up, but yeah, those little, little habits does have its own mental play because it teaches one how to slow down and everything, has to be, everything doesn't have to be about time, but slowing down and learning how to actually slow down. Because we, can you imagine from the time we become an adult, we always run for time. Oh, I got to do this by this certain time. I got to do this. Blah, 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 blah. And it's the same repetition over and over and over and over. We kept on doing the same thing. But once in a while, it is good to slow down. And like I always say, sometimes when our surrounding, that like goes what we're going through in life, when it's not appropriate, that is the time to actually tap into oneself and actually get to know yourself. Because when you keep a good attitude during hard times, your help will just slide its way to you. But when things are not going well in your life and you're getting angry and mad, <laughs> what they call the spiritual blessing, you will actually miss it. Because what happened was at the time when things are not going well in our life, even though it's difficult, but once we learn how to calm the mind down, what it would do, the situation gets better because the universe will send people that will help you and you'll be able to talk to them. But every time things go wrong in our life and we get so angry and kick things, we don't really see those things. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just wobbling my mouth. I like what I'm seeing, actually. Look at that place right here. I can't wait to actually see what the farmers does around here and I'm sure it'd be a lot more fun I'm thinking hmm you know just to kind of just it'll be a good experience I look I'm truly looking forward to spring right now even though it's a couple of weeks away or months <laughs> should I say but I'm actually looking forward to it so this morning <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy that beautiful run uh, for a lot of people I think this year people is, every year actually I was, oh yeah, you got to be my motivation. You get so last year I actually run over six thousand miles last year, and at the beginning of it, so I did it constantly every single day. I make sure I get out, except for a couple of days when I didn't. Every single day, and that's what it's all about. And the most amazing part about it is. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of trash truck too. People just took down on it because people don't understand why I would get up so hard and just go every day just like that. You know, I had a lot of backlash, a lot of back talk, and it absolutely amazes me because I'm just like, wow, this is actually amazing. So I guess what I've learned in that end is those type of people I don't need to be around. So that was probably my fault. Because <laughs> when I'm doing something that has it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of discipline and people are actually bash slashing it like that. 
my head should have told me, okay, you don't need to be around those type of people. And that's what I began to realize this year because uh, like I always say, um, this is not a competition for me anymore. I'm not competing with nobody, none of that. And I think a lot of people, when they hear how much I run, they think, oh no. Because for me, I think when you've run over 45,000 miles, this is not even trying to compete because people say a challenge. No, it's all about, I get my inspiration from different people, from different walks of life. It could be a, I could get it from an animal. It could be a lady walking. So I, I, what I do a lot in these runs too, I stop and talk to every single person that wants to talk to me because I always know there's something for me somewhere to learn. So this is not a competition. And I've done it, 100 miles, 26. I can't even count how many marathons I've run. So that one, I've lost count out of it. <laughs> yeah. Last year alone, I probably run over 40 marathons. I can say that, so she was so, so I lost count. So this is not, oh, I'm a better runner. No, it's not about that. It's the, it's the spiritual connection for me. You know, it's all about that uplifting my mind and what I can do to better myself, <laughs> you know, mentally and spiritually, and share that same thought with others. <laughs> so that's what it's really, really all about with me. And that's why everyone is welcome to give me a suggestion and all, all those type of things. <laughs> so I, I, and I always say that. So this is not a um, uh, biscuit. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I don't get involved when people talk about, oh, uh, this challenge, I said, no, nah, I've, I've done enough of those, <laughs> not enough of it, but uh, I've gone past that, that stage, it's just not relevant for me, because uh, <laughs> after many miles, nah. So every day, I'm very grateful that I can actually get up in the morning and actually come out and do this, and I'm even beginning to be surprised at myself that I, I just literally cannot believe it all these miles that I've done in the last couple of years. I'm truly, truly amazed and absolutely shocked. Because if you tell me in my 20s that the body can do this, I would literally think you've been smoking something that I want to Oh, well, since I almost lost myself over there, so yeah, like I was saying. So let me go ahead and uh, finish up this easy 22 miles this morning before I lose connection again as you can see in my village right here uh, the internet is a little bit shocky so let me finish up while I'm here but like I said this is the year to make your health your number one priority so I'm gonna say happy Monday <laughs> uh, and one love <laughs> <laughs>